So here's why just knowing what to say next will cause people to be weirded out by you and how you actually have confident and charismatic conversations with anyone. I get it, it's hard to know what to say to people, especially if you want to seem relaxed and witty and if you want them to like you. And you might feel safe to make the first step towards someone you want to talk to. And maybe you can even start the conversation. But what's next? What is the next thing you should say after that? And after that? and perfectly react to what the other person says or does. Always being witty and relaxed with your answer. But this desire actually comes from insecurity. Also from the fear of being rejected, not being good enough, and therefore being cast out from the tribe and dying alone in the cold winter in front of the cave. Bit drastic, right? Actually not. See, when you want to be perfectly prepared and have the steps two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and so on laid out in front of you, you want some sort of safety or security that you won't say the wrong thing and get punished for that. Or that you miss an opportunity and regret the chance. Or feel stupid that you again made a mistake and flunked it. But here's the thing. First of all, you cannot flunk it and you are not stupid because you always act to the best of your knowledge and belief. Think about it. You won't get up in the morning just to ruin your day. You always act so you can end up better than before. And sometimes that what you're doing is just not working. And if you just knew better, you acted better, but you just don't. So if you think about it, there's actually no need for regret. If you knew better, you acted better. And second, and most importantly, this need for security and wanting to know exactly what to say next or being prepared is something that you picked up as a kid. And it worked really well in certain situations like math or science classes in school. Because there you logically needed to know the right way to solve an equation. And there was always just one way, one correct way to solve it. And if you made a mistake in the calculation, you ended up with the wrong answer. And for that, you got a bad grade. And for that, you've been punished at home. But people do not operate that way. Confidence and conversations do not operate that way. Approaching conversations with a need to be prepared to say and do the right thing will not only stress you a lot to remember all eventualities, it will also make you shy away more and more from connecting to people. And with that killing your chances to be truly confident, charismatic, and maybe also someone that truly inspires others. When you always want to have the perfect line at your disposal, you are never in the here and now, never in the moment and people feel that. And that is even worse than not having the perfect answer because it immediately repels them and kills any connection you could build. And instead you're in your head, thinking, calculating. And in that mode you cannot build an emotional connection to the other one. But charisma and confidence are built on emotions. Emotions are what makes people want to connect to you. To really connect to others, be charismatic and have easy conversations with everyone, you instead need to build a confidence foundation first. A foundation that is built on the experience that people actually want to be around you, want to talk to you and enjoy talking to you. And to build that foundation you only need some simple confidence habits that make you charismatic and likable the moment you wake up in the morning. Morning. And these are habits that are so easy that anyone can do them. But because they're so simple, 99% of people do not do them. And if they do them, they stop them after a short while. These are habits like the stop method, where you identify and stop dangerous thoughts that could kill your confidence and charisma. Or habits that stop your critical self-talk that makes you doubt yourself all the time. Or habits that put you in a state of confidence, in a good mood, every time you want and need to. And there are habits that make you instantly attractive to other people, that they want to talk to you and start a conversation with you. And I'm happy to show you these confidence habits that work for you individually all the time. And to get these habits, these techniques, just text me on Instagram so I can give you a step-by-step -step plan to build your unshakable confidence and be charismatic in no time. So text me on Instagram and we're gonna talk soon.